two, up from the ground, situation three. Um, remember your nine variables to consider the diagram of an object going up from the ground or from your hand and directly back to it. Standard known values should be written down multiple times and remember that these are not linked problems. So for situation three, we're given the height. It reaches a maximum height of. In, once you have that maximum height, remember we're looking at this from the perspective of free fall. So the time down is the square root of 2y over a, and the velocity at the bottom can be found by taking the negative square root of 2ay. So a pumpkin is launched and the world record is 78 meters. So how long is it in the air and at what velocity was it thrown to get there? Pretty colors. So let's do this example together. Remember things that you're given, right? You are given that y, the ultimate height, is equal to 78 meters. If y is 78 meters, then I can find time down, which is equal to the square root, new equation, square root of, whoops, that was fun. Hold on. Okay, square root of two times 78 divided by 9.8. Remember that when we're looking at down, right, it doesn't, or dropped falling objects, it doesn't really matter that it's a negative negative or a positive positive because it all ends up being the same thing anyway. So, handy dandy calculator, square root of two times 78 divided by 9.8 is equal to 3.990 seconds. If that's time down, that means time up is also 3.990 seconds. Um, on the calculator, it actually gives you 3.9897, which would round to be 3.99. No, you can't round it to four. That means that the total time then is 3.99 times 2, 7.98 seconds. So how long is it in the air? 7.98 seconds, right? Then we have to find the velocity. So VB is equal to the negative square root of 2 times 9.8 times that height of 78, which is equal to calculator 2 times 9.8 times 78 is 39 I'm sorry, negative 39.01 oh, meters per second. Um, the actual decimal answer is negative 39.0998, which would round to be 39.100 meters per second. That does mean that V naught would be the positive of that, which is 39.1 meters per second. So what velocity was it thrown at to get there? That would be that positive 39.1 meters per second. Hope these examples help you do your 2.2 problems. Thanks for watching.